Yo, what's good? I'm Category 5. I'm a challenger Katarina player from Brazil. I have about 3.5 million mastery on the champion. And I decided to make this coaching series on YouTube to help out any other Katarina player that may be feeling frustrated where they're at. Um, if you like anything in the video or learn something new, make sure to hit that like button to help me out. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the coaching series because it will be an accumulation. All right, I appreciate your support. Thanks a lot. I've been talking <laughs> with my mic muted <laughs> on my stream. All right, that's wow. fine. We just went over some um, win conditions. So early game, how you want to play against Zed is you mm -hmm. want to be as close to him as possible. Yep. So if you sidestep his cues, mm -hmm. you can cue him for free, right? Yeah. And then level two and level three, it's a skill matchup. The closer you are to him, by the way, um, the harder it is for him to hit his shuriken. Most Zeds know how to hit their shurikens when you're standing far away from them, which is your in initial like instinct, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, also he has dark harvest. So what does that tell you about what he wants to do in the laning phase? Uh, he wants to poke me down a lot so he can get his dark harvest deck. He wants to utterly obliterate you. He wants to kill you, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, in your team comp, you already are full AD, right? So in this matchup, yeah. I would suggest either going Electrocute or Dark Harvest. I would prefer mm -hmm. Dark Harvest because of the poke and the um, burst as well. Yeah. Um, because you're basically telling Zed, listen, I want to take long trades against you. And he's telling you, listen, I just want to burst you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, you can also pause. I'll tell you when I keep going. All right. All right. So knowing that, right, how would you yeah. play this lane now? Let's say you didn't play this game at all and you see a Zed. How would you play this lane? Uh, well, I would probably go Electrocute or Dark Harvest. And then I would stick to as close to him as possible. So I can, um, so I can make him miss his cues more because like you said they miss more cues uh when you're closer yep so i would play close to him for level two and three and then i can free poke him down if he misses his cue with uh with my cue okay good um now let's go back to win conditions does mid jungle right. win on your team early or does mid jungle win on their team early and why I'm the kind of coach that's um, gonna make you think. Well, I'm pretty sure that Kane and Zed would win early, cause Kane and Zed they have, or Zed at least he has a ton of burst. Um, mm -hmm. Udir can stun, but Kane can also just go back into a wall and heal up a little bit. On um, we don't have like built in sustain into our kits really. I'm pretty sure I don't know Udyr too well, but, um, the only, I think we could win if we focus Zed so he doesn't burst us, and then, I don't know, try and get Kane to run away or something. I feel like it's more of a skill matchup. Exactly. It, it's really, it's not one side favored, right? It yeah, depends on exactly. the players, and I'm confident in you, especially since you have, like, better summoner spells for fighting. Mm -hmm. Um, let's say they go for Scuttle at, what time does Scuttle spawn? Do you know? Uh, isn't it, I think, around, it's around, like, two or three minutes, right? It's at exactly 3.15. Okay. Learn yeah. that. Just keep that memorized. At exactly 3.15, the Scuttle spawn. And then it's random each time, uh, it's random all after that, right? when both of them get killed yeah okay but that's not really important what we want to perfect right here is your first five minutes okay um if it's even and it's 2v2 jungle right i'd say that's a possible yeah. win condition for you mm -hmm. um it really depends on which lane it gets shoved out first top lane but most of the time you want to take the 2v2 and okay. try to make the impact early right yeah Katarina can be really feast or famine. 
But if mm -hmm. you play it right, you can either kill Zed first or Kane. Mm -hmm. And then you can just win the game off of that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, let's see how this plays out a little longer. I don't want to give you too much information right away. You know, just to not overload you. Wait, hang on. Can I quickly finish up writing that down in my notes before we start again? Yeah, absolutely. All right, one second. I gave you some pretty good information, so take your time. I think I want to go backwards, actually. Go back to about 105. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Um, pause. Turn off the view all fog of war. You have it under all. You want to put it under blue. Yep, right there. All right. So what I'm gonna, what my goal this session is, right? Because we only have thirty minutes today. Is yeah. to give you as much knowledge about the first five minutes as possible, mm -hmm. and then every session after that we can dive deeper into specifics, so that you have a plan f and a foundation to set you up for success in your game, okay? Yeah. One thing I wanna cover with you as well is jungle pathing. Basic jungle pathing, right? Yeah. Um, so walk me through what you think your jungle's pathing is, or should be, and then walk me through what you think their jungle pathing is, or should be. If you're interested okay. In um. Personally, I think Udyr should go do a full red-white and then gank either bot or mid and then no, if no, no, successful... No. I want to know exactly which camps they do and why. Oh, okay. Um, so, of course, start off with red for Udyr and then I would say go to Raptors and then um, Krugs and lead to bot lane because they're already at a disadvantage uh, by range. So I say help out. Or if you wanna help your strength and uh, lanes, then either go red uh, to Krugs to Raptors, then head mid. Mm -hmm. um, for, cause I'm pretty sure if you do all of those, you get level three, right? Or is it level two? It's um, buff, um, inner, outer, buff. Okay. I believe. I haven't coached jungle in a while. Yeah. Um, but um, let me walk you through what meta clearing right now is, okay? Okay. It's buff. Yeah. Two camps. Buff. Gromp. And then at about 2.30, they're finished doing their five camp clear. And they go, here, let me walk you through this. Hold up. Are you looking at my stream? Yep. Okay. So, oh, I need the map again. I got you, Karm. Uh, can you open up your map again? Yep. Sorry. I was just loading up uh, this. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Cool. So, you want to do... God, that is so big. When you're jungling, you want to do your camp. Camp. Either um, wolves or blue. Right? Yep. If you do blue, you're going to do your next two camps. And you're going to end up around here. At about 2.30, right? Yeah. Most jungles are going to be in the river at about 2.30, right? Yep. Okay. So, at 2.30, did the Scuttler even um, spawn? No, because it spawns at 3.15. So, 3.15, right? Yep. What does the jungler do for those 45 seconds? Uh, They can go for a gank, right? They or can either gank. gank top lane... Yep. Or mid lane, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. So that's the average jungler's pathing. Now, that's probably what Udyr does here, okay? Because if he does 
a buff and then two camps, he's only level two. Yeah. And then if he goes bot lane, he's ringing alarm bells all across this map, giving away his location, right? Yeah. I'll give you a tip. So, Kane's a little different. Kane wants to start either chickens, 90% of the time, or red, 10% of the time. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Because his Q will just clear this immediately without getting, like, destroyed. Yeah. Okay? Yep. So, if your jungler goes bot lane after doing two camps or three camps, whatever, he mm -hmm. doesn't have to do his bot side immediately. Which, by the way, he will probably be here at his blue. Yeah. Um, he can just drop the blue and go help the bot lane. Or if he's doing a three camp clear, he can just go and take all your jungler's top side. Okay? So your jungler yeah. immediately loses the game from doing that. You don't want to do that. So one thing we can go over is jungle pathing. I'll brush up on it too, just for you. But most of the time, they're going to do either 5 camp or 6 camp if they're really fast. And then end up on scuttle side. Whichever side is better for them. Like, for example, Kane is one of those weird ones that starts chickens, right? So if he does 5 or 6 camps, he's going to end up where? Bot side. Does that make sense? Yeah. So he yep. does basically this. Right? Whereas your jungler should be doing this. So at around 2.30, you want to put a ward around here. Right by the rock, right? Or right around this rock. Because yeah. you get vision of all this. Yeah. One of the worst places to put a ward is like right here. In this bush, to be honest. On either side. Mm -hmm. Taking yeah. notes? Yes, I am. Alright, cool. Questions, comments, concerns? Um, no, that's pretty good. Okay. Now let's say he gets a low elo kind of like doesn't really know what he's doing jungle path and he just does the same path as Udyr, right? He goes blue, gromp, chickens, um, not chickens, wolves. And then he does his chickens and then red. It's about 2.30 so these two might be coming here to fight, right? Yeah. So you yeah. want to either have this pushed out have killed their mid laner by then or have it um be in a middle state where you can just roam first and help your jungler be in a 2v1 position okay yeah so if you ward here yeah. at 230 you're gonna 100 percent see if their jungler comes this way right yeah exactly so i think that's a pretty solid foundation for your first five minutes um to be exact yeah, that's your first three minutes Mm -hmm. Let's see how this actually plays out. Holy, I already got like a page of notes from that. Yeah, man. And I have pages and notebooks of pages to give you, so. <laughs> My method is not to overload you with information. It's to build up slowly on a foundation where you can have um, your auto drive, auto path, whatever you want to call it. When you're you're not doing a hundred percent thinking, to be at a high level yep. by itself, you know. Yeah. Obviously, we want you thinking all the time, but that's mm -hmm. a little unrealistic, especially when you're doing multiple games in one day. Yeah. Not gonna lie, lie at this point in time, I was kind of scared because I, uh, I don't Pause really it. win against Zeds. Pause it, pause I don't really uh, win against Zeds um, myself, like with my skill. Uh, and then I also saw that he was a one trick uh, due to his name. Okay. So I was kind of scared and hesitant here. As you yeah. can see, I'm playing really far back. Press escape real quick. All right, now scroll up. Do summer name. Either put champion name or nothing. I have nothing, but it's up to you. Okay. Now go back to you. Problem solved. You don't see he's a one trick. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter if they're one trick. I know many one tricks that feed. I know one tricks that 
don't even know half the stuff about their champion at a million points. So don't worry about one tricks. Yeah. Um, okay. We have three minutes, so I just want to give you a little bit more information. Back up. Go to 130. Pause. All right, so this is a little bit of a high elo trick. Um, yeah. You see the shadow right before the lane, right next to your tower in that lane, going towards the uh, yeah. the jungle. Yeah. So like, here. Do you see my stream? Yeah, I do. I'm yeah. So like, if you stand here, right? Yeah. Zed is like, uh, AFK. Most yeah. of the time, he's gonna hit one of these minions, right? Yeah. What Katarina wants is a very, 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 very long lane, okay? Yeah. All right. So yeah. what we accomplish simply before the game even starts by standing here is Zed pushing the wave into you, okay? Yeah. In most matchups, what I do is I allow these three minions to get as low as possible, and then I simply walk out of the shadow, walk up to these minions, yeah. press Q, and get three CS right there. What yeah. I accomplish from that is a long lane, and um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you win the game here if you play yeah. this right. Yeah. Katarina wants the lane pushing into her at almost all times, okay? Yep. He's going to hit level two first, but that's okay. Because there's a, a simple little setup where you can last hit the first minion of the second wave. Write this mm -hmm. down. You okay. can last hit the, f the first mil minion of the second wave with your Q. It's going to kill that minion, give you level 2. If you press Control e fast enough, you can E where the dagger is going to land before the dagger lands there. You can surprise them. Repeat that by me one more time. Yeah, I... that's fine. So if you cue this minion and it dies, right? The, f the first minion of the second wave. Yeah. Okay? First minion of the second wave. Yeah. You will get level two. Okay? Really? Really? Killing the first minion of the second wave, you get level two. Yeah. You're also sending a dagger right here. So most of the time they're pressuring you because they're level 2. Let's say Zed's right here, right? Yeah. You E him with your Electrocutor Dark Harvest. You're hitting him with E, auto attack, passive. And then you have these summoner spells here to help you win that fight. In most lanes, you can win the game at level 2. Yeah. Alright, and that's my time. <laughs> 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 all right how'd you like that that was pretty good a lot of information yeah so we I didn't really even see your that. gameplay at all did we yeah we literally just talked like and watched like not even really a minute of it that was wow okay that was pretty good thank you yeah no problem man all right um yeah i'll definitely uh we can probably schedule something to do longer times. Perfect. Um, See if some cat will uh, sponsor you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, that probably won't happen. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for your time, man. I hope you uh, go over your notes extensively. Put it in your mind and gameplay. Yep. And then... Um, He'll probably improve immensely just off of your 30 seconds in game. <laughs> yeah. All right. Alrighty. Have a yeah. good night, man. Uh, yeah, man. You too. Bye.